Well, John Robin came down from the uh, other office, and I think she's got all your paperwork ready. So let's see what she's got here. There she is. Take in our little display area in our manufacturing facility here in Orlando to describe our universal food merchandising cart. We can go over some of its capacities, the kitchen, and the basic operation. Hi, gang. Some people say this work is so easy you could do it sitting down, but I'll stand up for a second. Let me show some of the features of our universal food merchandising cart. Let's start with the sink. That's what the health department needs. Obviously, we have hot and cold running water water fill cap, evacuation. Uh, here's our optional speed rack, which will hold all your different uh, condiments. And don't forget, great Poupon hot mustard. People love it. Over here is our cooler area. We claim to be the only uh, manufacturer in the industry to actually pour foams a cooler that can keep frozen foods all day in our crazy Florida weather. Built-in Bay Marie will actually accommodate your uh, Diced tomatoes, your cheese, uh, for slaw dogs, and any other condiments you want to put in a cold storage area. That retracts back to access your meat or cold drinks. Uh, moving over here to the first main steam table, this can be broken up into many different categories of all universal standard pans in the food industry. One sixth size, one third, or even breaking it up into two halves, whatever food options you have for the day. The secondary steam table is really handy to actually um, hold your uh, grilled food ready to serve. And uh, basically moving over to one of the main features on this cart is our 24-inch commercial griddle, stainless burners, 48,000 BTUs, a full stainless retract handle. And as far as capacity, gang, we can squeeze 40, 50 hot dogs and at least 36 big fat sausages on here, and we can get them over the counter in five minutes. And over here, I like this area. This is a handy tool area. Keep your tools in uh, nice warm water for handling. Get your food grilled up. Keep it in your food holding area. Uh, a grill iron is always great if you want to heat things real quick. It's kind of like the old-fashioned iron from the turn of the century. And then your uh, last uh, holder over here, as uh, some people use it many different ways. Some put the tools over here. Some people hide their favorite wine in here while they're working, but I don't recommend that. Some people just like their drink in here. You have your grease trap, your grease tray. Um, each one of these steam tables have an individual burner control. Uh, one for this table, one for this table, and two for the griddle. And a very popular option is becoming very popular for entertaining your customers, both by their ears and their nose, from food coming off our grills, our sound system. And uh, that's kind of entertaining. And we have CDs that portray Harley sounds, NASCAR sounds, uh, running entertainment tapes or advertising tapes during the operation of the cart. Your full work counter across the top is a great face-to-face -face contact with your customers so that they're out of your kitchen area. Here's one of our best features we come up with 13, 14 years ago is our removable tow bar assembly. Um, it uh, is a great anti-theft item. Nowadays, everybody can appreciate that. Also, this card is high-speed, highway towable. Um, it's very easy to insert for transporting on your car. Simply put that in like that. Slide your safety pin in. Retract your landing wheel. For the only other thing, don't forget to take your decorative skirting off in traveling. This just simply snaps off like thus. Stainless steel snaps hold us in place. Now you're ready to travel. Okay. 
This is our Mac Daddy cart, MF36. We claim in the industry that this is the biggest you can buy on a universal food merchandising cart. So let's come into the kitchen and see how it works. All right, we went over the MF24S. Now this is our Mac Daddy of all carts in the industry. This houses a 36 inch commercial griddle. Let's start from the front. This is an optional cooler rack with our standard removable front tow bar assembly. Uh, in different health departments, this particular cart has a four compartment sink, including the hand wash sink. And moving down the kitchen, just like the 24 inch griddle, we have our Mac Daddy cooler, we have our built in Bay Marie for cold cuts, and our frozen meat storage area. Uh, our main steam table obviously is going to house the same things as our MF24S, all your condiments, which obviously can be broken up in different categories depending on your vent. Six, four, three, two, or one. And then this is the big feature right here. This grill is too heavy for me to even pick up off the floor. It's huge. We simulated some food on this. This grill wouldn't be a stranger to 60, 70 items of food at one time. Turnaround time, five minutes. We've had an additional steam table over here for all your extra trimmings. Now you have about everything you'll ever need to have the gourmet grill. Same features, cover, grease tray, steam table burner, triple burners on this grill. This has got six stainless burner bars, three burner control valves. Main safety gas shut off valve shuts the whole system down. Same as our other model, water fill, water evacuation, tool tray, and that's basically it. Let's go down and visit Tom. This is our welding department. This is a precision rotating jig fixture that keeps this cart with it plus or minus a few thousands. We actually work this like General Motors. We have laser cut, computer generated parts, unit body, there's not a single piece of steel in this coal cart, throw it in the ocean. To ease the assembly and the precision, this fixture is made up to rotate. Tom, give me a hand, let's show them how, this, how nifty this is. We just gently rotate this around and Tom can address all the different welding areas for inspection and for welding and then finally back to chassis completion on, a, on to the next department. Tom's fabricating our homemade griddles right here at our shop. They're all laser cut, computer generated, blanched ground in a big machine shop and then our stainless sides are put on it and this grill is really the best. Let's go over to our other department over here where we put miscellaneous pieces together to incorporate in other segments of the cart. Thank you. Here we are in our part fabrication department. We're making sinks. We have our gas manifold area. We cut metal. We bend metal. We shear metal. And, and who said a woman can't do a man's job? This is my daughter, Sarah. It's a family thing. I can only kiss her. Good Hello. job, honey. Well, Ryan's getting one of these carts ready for final delivery, and before it leaves here, we do air, pro air tire check, and uh, mainly, most important, is an electronic leak test. Well, it feels nice and warm down here, but I don't hear that instrument going off, so it looks like all the leaks have been checked and everything's A-OK. -okay. This measures one part per million, and we go over all the gas fittings and adjust all the burners, and that's our final check before going out the door. And uh, that basically sums up our final inspection. Thank you. Well, you saw this monster in some of the shots of the other takes, so I'm going to just bring you inside here momentarily. This is my labor love project, 5,000 hours in the hole. It'll eventually get done. This is going to be the nifty 50 kitchen seating capacity for complete kitchen, meat slicer, steam table, steam table, steam tables, big griddle, cheese steaks, complete deli. This is going to be fun. I can't wait. Thanks, guys. <laughs>